Brexit and the 2008 crash, their predictions, distorted by politics, were utterly wrong. The, the profession owes the public an inquest and an apology. Its official figures for the past six months show that the forecast of instant Brexit catastrophe from the Treasury and the Bank of England were garbage. The bank's economist, Andrew Haldane, admitted yesterday that it was, it, it was a repeat of the failure to predict the 2008 crash. It was another Michel Fish moment when meteorologists failed to forecast the 1987 hurricane. Haldane is unfair on Fish. The Met Office in 1987 was victim of a tiny notch of air deflecting the course of the hurricane north of its expected path over the Atlantic. It had no interest in being wrong, any more than polling science has an interest in getting elections wrong, which, is increase, which it increasingly does. The Brexit forecast was in a different category. It was like the Georgi Dozier of the intelli intelligence community of, on Saddam's weapon arsenal. It was experts, distorted by politics, consciously or unconsciously, saying that they or their paymasters wanted to hear. It was sexed up science. The reasons given by economists for the Brexit forecast was feeble. It did not take account of inherent momentum of international factors or of government remedial action. That is surely inadequate. The true reason is that Project Fear, the Treasury orchestrated attempt to frighten voters into remain camp, consumed the political and intellectual establishment. It, it blighted the judgment of social scientists. It not only failed in its purpose of instilling fear, it appeared to validate a bogus reason for voting Brexit, that all experts are mendacious toffs. After the debacle of 2008, academic economists made a few half-hearted attempts to answer the Queen's most LCE question, why did nobody notice? But there was no official or professional inquiry. No one took any responsibility or blame for a forecasting failure that led to a policy disaster. As now, it became the topic for a few jokes at a think tank seminar. I studied economics and respected it some, its attempts to explain a turbulent world. But each of these fiascos in a profession that purports to be scientific should receive a subsequent inquest. Economics is plagued by the spurious exactness of mathematics. It neglects human behavior and grovels before its paymasters in government and commerce. Its forecasting is as much used as Mystic Meg and the astrologers. Predicting economic disaster may not be as crucial as predicting war, but its consequences can be massive. The essence of any science is relentless self-criticism. Economics should suffer what the intelligent intelligence community did after a rock. It should be asked in public to explain how it came to make so blatant a professional error.